All right, in this video I'm going to talk about the normal distribution and what I'm going to talk about is what's known as the uh, 68, 95, 99.7 rule for, for normal distributions or bell curves. And what it says, if you have a normal distribution with a mean mu and a standard deviation of sigma, it says the bulk uh, of your observations, which in this case 68% of the observations are going to fall within one standard deviation of the mean mu. It says 95% of your observations are going to fall within um, two standard deviations of the mean mu. And it says 99.7% of the observations will fall within three standard deviations of the mean mu. So let's, uh, let's try to make some sense out of that. Um, so there's a, a popular IQ test, and it turns out that the, uh, the scores for these IQ tests are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. We're going to use the 68, 95, 99.7 rule to figure out the following. So we're going to do three things. We're going to figure out about what percent of people have IQ scores above 100, um, above 145, and below 85. So I went ahead and uh, made a little, a little normal uh, distribution here, pretty rough. Um, again, the peak is where the mean is. So we know the mean's at, uh, at 100. That's given to us. So the first question is, um, you know, about what percent of people have a score above 100? Well, again, the idea for a normal distribution, 50% um, of the observations roughly are going to be, uh, you know, at or below the mean. And again, roughly about 100% or 50% of the observations are going to be at or above the mean. So in this case, since our mean is at 100, we know that 50% of the observations are going to be to the left, 50% of the observations are going to be to the right. So to answer part A, um, we don't have to do much at all. We don't have to really use this rule. So above uh, 100, again, half the observations will be, you know, roughly again, half the observations will be below 100, half of them will be above 100. So I would say, uh, we'll say about 50%. So about 50% of the observations would be above 100. The second question was, um, what about above 145? you know, what percent of the observations. And this is where we're going to start using our rule. And let's go ahead and talk about it on this example anyway. So our, our standard deviation was 15. So I'm going to add 15 to 100. That'll give me 115. And I'm also going to subtract 15 from 100. That would give me 85. And again, what this rule says is we're now one standard deviation away from the mean. This is supposed to be symmetric, but it's, you know, obviously I'm doing this by hand, so not quite perfect. What we could conclude here is we could actually say, and we didn't ask this question at all, but we could say uh, roughly or approximately 68% of the IQ scores are between in this case between 85 and 115. Okay, so we've gone one standard deviation away. If we go two standard deviations away, okay, so if I go two standard deviations, I'm going to have to add another 15. That's going to put me at 130, and I'm going to subtract 15. That'll put me at 70. So if I look at the region between uh, the 70 and the 130, Again, now I'm two standard deviations away, so I could say that 95% of my observations, 95% of the IQ scores are going to be uh, at or above 70 and at or below 130. Likewise, if we do three standard deviations, okay, so if we subtract 15 from 70, that'll give me 55, and if I add 15 to uh, 130, I'm going to get 145, and we'll use this to answer part B. But again, now it says 99.7% are of the IQ scores are going to be above 55, at or above 55, but at or below 145. So again, we're going, you know, sort of one standard deviation to go to 85 to 115, two standard deviations to go from 70 to 130, 
and then we're going three standard deviations to go from 55 to 145. Okay, so to address this question, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, what percent of the scores are above 145? Well, again, we're now three standard deviations away. So if I kind of look at the uh, area inside of there, again, at this point, I've got 99.7% of the observed values. Well, what that means is, if there's 99.7% of the observed values, that means the remaining, uh, so if we take 99.7 and subtract that from 100, that means there's 0.3% uh, left over. And that's going to be in the tails of our normal distribution. So really it says if we take 0.3% and divide it by 2, it says there's 0.15% uh, of the population that has an IQ score below 55. And likewise, there's going to be a 0.15% of the population that has scores above 145. So I would say uh, to answer this question, about 15, uh, excuse me, about 0.15% of the population is going to have an IQ score above 145. So you know, very, very rare here. Our last question here was. Uh, you know, what percentage of the people had an IQ score below 85? Well, okay, so I think if we looked at between 85 and 115, that's going to be one standard deviation away. So, again, we said there's 68% of the observations fall within one standard deviation. Okay, well, how much is left over? Well, since there's 68% within one standard deviation, that means the remaining 32% must be outside. And kind of the same thing, if we take our 32% and divide it by 2, that's going to give us 16%. So it says, if we, if we look outside of this region, the 68% region, it says there's going to be 16% um, uh, of the observations are going to be smaller than that, and likewise the other 16% are going to be above that. So for part C here, when we talk about uh, below 85, I would say in this case about 16% of the test scores are going to be below 85. Likewise, if they said, you know, if, if the question was how many of the, you know, what percentage of the test scores are above 115. Again, it would be the same answer. Roughly 16% of the test scores would be above 15%. So, just kind of little useful information to know. Um, you know, all you need to know is the mean, the standard deviation, and then just remember this little rule. And it gives you kind of a lot of information about you know the scores that fall within that range.